Hey guys, it's Ali here and today I want to share a special story with you that might just change the way you look at making money. Alam niyo ba, I had an interesting conversation with a good friend of mine who happens to be, well, a multi-millionaire. Yep, you heard that right. And guess what? I asked him the one question we all want to know. Paano ba talaga yumaman? How do we really get rich? Stay tuned kasi I'll be breaking down everything he shared with me step by step so you can start applying it to your own life. And I promise you'll get a mix of practical advice, some real talk, and a few laughs along the way. Ready na ba kayo? Let's dive in. So there I was, sitting in his cozy little cafe, sipping my favorite hot chocolate. My multimillionaire friend, let's call him John, para safe, walks in, looking all cool and relaxed. I was expecting some big, dramatic answer. Something like, you need to invest in this stock or start this type of business. Pero alam nyo, he just smiled and said, Sally, getting rich starts with your mindset. Mindset? Akala ko ba practical tips ang usapan dito? But he continued, If you don't believe you can get rich, no matter what you do, you will not succeed. At first, I thought it was too simple. But then, I remembered something. Back when I was a nurse, I always thought my income was fixed. Na hanggang dun na lang talaga ang kaya kong kitain. But when I shifted to entrepreneurship, my mind changed. And so did my income. Tama nga si John, di ba? John told me the first step is to truly believe that wealth is possible for you, regardless of your current situation. Mindset, it's such a small word, pero it has the power to shape your entire future. I talk more about mindset in my book, Abundance Mindset. Yes, this is now available in Amazon. Link in the description if you want to grab a copy. Now, on to the next part. After John talked about mindset, he dropped another bombshell. You have to be willing to take risks. I know, I know, nakakatakot minsan. But let me tell you something. When I first decided to leave nursing and dive into entrepreneurship, ang dami kong fears. I was comfortable as a nurse. I had a steady income. But I knew deep down that it wasn't enough for the life I wanted for my family. John explained that taking risks doesn't mean being reckless. Hindi ito about betting everything on one roll of a dice. It's about calculated risks. He said, you should always have a backup plan. But don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. He shared a story about his first business venture. It was a total flop. Akala niya yun na yun. But he didn't stop there. He learned from his mistakes and tried again. And guess what? His second business took off and made him his first million. It was a reminder that failure isn't the opposite of success. It's part of the journey. Kung hindi ka matututo, hindi ka rin yayaman. Okay, here's a big one. If there's one skill you absolutely need to master to get rich, it's sales. And no, hindi ito limited to selling products lang. John told me, everything in life is sales. Selling your ideas, selling yourself, selling your vision. Whether you're pitching a business idea to investors or convincing your kids to eat their vegetables, you are selling. John emphasized that you don't have to be smooth talker to be good at sales. You just have to be genuine, confident, and persistent. People buy from those they trust, he said. So, build relationships, offer real value, and don't give up after the first no. It reminded me of the time when I was just starting out with my e-commerce business. I had to pitch my products to suppliers, negotiate deals, and convince customers to buy from me. Hindi siya mandali, but once I got the hang of it, things started to flow. Now, here's something that often overlooked but is absolutely crucial. Networking. John said, your network is your net worth. At first, I thought it was just a catchy phrase. But then I realized how true it is. The people you surround yourself with will influence your success. Kung lagi mong kasama yung mga negatron, 
negative people, it's going to be harder to stay positive and motivated. I remember when I started attending business seminars and workshops, I met so many people who were already successful in their fields and their energy was contagious. Kaya nga sabi nila, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Jan also mentioned that Networking isn't just about collecting business cards or adding people on LinkedIn. It's about building genuine relationships. He shared a tip. Always offer value first before asking for anything. Whether it's giving advice, helping out with a project, or just being a supportive friend. People remember those who help them. One thing that stuck with me during our conversation was when John said, Consistency beats intensity. Think about it. How many times have we started something with so much enthusiasm only to lose steam after a few weeks? I've been guilty of this too. Lalo na nung nagsisimula ako. But when John reminded me that it's not about doing things perfectly, it's about showing up every single day. Consistency builds momentum, and momentum leads to success. Whether it's saving a little bit of money every month, working on your side hustle, or improving your skills, small, consistent actions will compound over time. I can relate this to my YouTube journey. When I started, I wasn't getting a lot of views. Parang walang nanonood. But I kept uploading, kept refining my content. And eventually, the audience started to grow. And that is the same with all my other channels. John shared a story about a friend of his who became a millionaire through real estate. This guy didn't start with a big flashy deal. He started by buying a small rundown property, fixing it up, and renting it out. He did this over and over again, consistently building his portfolio until one day, he woke up a millionaire. The lesson? Keep going. Even when it's tough, success doesn't happen overnight. But if you stay consistent, it will happen. Now, let's talk about something we all know is crucial, investing. John emphasized, don't just work for your money. Make your money work for you. Kaya nga sabi ko, paano? He said, invest in assets, not liabilities. He explained that an asset is something that puts money in your pocket while liability takes money out of it. Simple, right? But it's amazing how many people, including myself, back in the day, get this wrong. John shared that one of his best investments was in himself, his education, his skills, his mindset. Kasi kahit mawala ang lahat, yung knowledge mo will always be with you. He also talked about the importance of diversifying your investments. Don't Put all your eggs in one basket, sabi nga nila. Whether it's real estate, stocks, business, or even a side hustle, make sure you are spreading your risk. Jan gave me this piece of advice that I want to pass on to you. Always think long term. Don't chase quick money because it rarely lasts. Focus on building wealth that will stand the test of time. This really hit home for me because as an entrepreneur, I've learned that patience is key. Hindi kailangan madaliin ang pagyaman. The important thing is that you are moving in the right direction. Lastly, but definitely not least, John talked about the importance of giving back. He said, Sally, wealth is not just about accumulating money. It's about making a positive impact on the lives of others. This really resonated with me. Kasi when I was just starting out, I was so focused on making money that I forgot to think about how I could help others. But over time, I realized that the more I gave, the more blessings seemed to come my way. It's like the universe rewards you for being generous. John shared that he regularly donates a portion of his income to a cause he believes in. He also mentors young entrepreneurs who are just starting out, sharing his knowledge and experiences with them. Giving back doesn't just mean donating money, he said. It can also mean giving your time, your expertise, or simply offering support to someone who needs it. I have tried to incorporate this into my own life, whether it's mentoring someone who's new to business, sharing my experiences through my YouTube channel, or simply being there for a friend who needs advice. I've found that giving back is incredibly fulfilling. And you know what? 
the more you give, the more you grow, both as a person and in your wealth. It's a beautiful cycle. When you lift others up, you rise with them. John said it best. True wealth is measured not by what you have, but by what you give. I hope you found this conversation helpful. Remember, getting rich isn't just about making money. It's about creating a life of abundance, growth, and contribution. Let's continue this journey together. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone who needs to hear this. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And as always, leave a comment below. I know ang takeaways nyo from this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts and stories. Until next time, this is Sally reminding you to keep believing, keep growing, and keep giving. See you in the next video.